there deluxify back and in today's video i'm coming at you guys with another zombie weapon comparison and in this one this is going to be the smr versus the springfield the shittiest of the shittiest weapons in all of zombies in today's video to find out which one is the worst of the worst so anyways guys if you are new to this series i want to welcome you and basically what i do in this series is i take two weapons from any zombies game and i compare them for stuff like ammo price how easy they are to get availability used to do accuracy and damage but guys with this series if you want to vote for the next two weapons on the next episode all you got to do is like comment and subscribe and the comment with the most likes will appear on the next episode so anyways guys let's head on straight into the statistics of the smr so with the smr it's a semi-automatic weapon which means it fires and then you have to click it again for it to fire afterwards and then the ammo on this weapon is 140 ammo plus the 20 in the clip which is pretty reasonable but it could have been a little bit better the price for this weapon is only available in the box and it's 950 points plus meaning that you have to spend at least 950 points to get this shitty weapon and then the difficulty for the smr is going to be at a medium because it is available in the box the availability i believe is all maps on black ops 2 except for mob of the dead that is all the ways that you can get the smr the damage on round 10 with the smr is three shots in the head and six shots in the body and this is basically if you can pretty much land the shot because if you guys have never used the smr this thing is very very inaccurate it's just so bad that you it, the shot when you aim on the iron sight is never actually shot where you're aiming for it's a misaligned iron sight pretty much meaning that if you're trying to shoot somewhere you're never going to get it that's the way the smr is designed in zombies and it's horrible from being such a good weapon in multiplayer and to be coming into one of the worst weapons into zombies it's really drastic and it's really sad honestly so going to the rate of fire on the smr this is going to be 535 rpm and this sort of rate of fire is to be expected when it comes to a semi-automatic weapon the extra damage multiplier you can get on the smr is 1.2 times in the head which is pretty good honestly uh but when you pack a bunch of this weapon it becomes the smiler and the pack a bunch of ammo you can get on the smr is 420 plus 30 honestly i really do think Treyarch did that intentionally honestly i don't think why they would just choose 420 but they did it guys they did it so the recoil on this weapon i just pretty much put it's everywhere wherever you're trying to shoot it's just going to freaking shoot everywhere it's pretty much like the war machine in terms of how you shoot it and stuff the damage on round 20 is four shots to the head and six shots to the body now don't get me wrong guys the smr's damage is not that bad the problem is with the smr is its accuracy if it actually shot on the iron sight i wouldn't really consider it that bad of a weapon but since you can barely land a shot on the zombie that's why it just sucks so much like the damage is really good honestly but it's just the accuracy is horrible and you can never fix that which is the worst part about this weapon and the reload speed on this is 2.69 seconds loaded or 2.75 seconds unloaded which isn't bad and the recommended perks i give for this weapon is juggernaut double tap speed cola and stamina up you're gonna want to get juggernaut obviously just for juggernaut double tap just to make this gun a little bit more powerful when you're actually trying to hit the zombies speed cola because this weapon does have a tendency to take a little bit of a long time to reload and stamina because you're going to want to run away as fast as possible from the zombies with this shitty ass weapon so anyways guys let's head on straight into the statistics of the springfield so with the springfield it's basically a bolt action weapon and it's surprising because this weapon is very similarly modeled after like the car 98 k and the arisaka but it's basically the worst much worse version of it guys it is absolutely drastically horrible the ammo on this weapon is only 55 shots plus five that is horrible especially for a bolt action weapon and on zombies it should at least have a total ammo of around 80 not 55 55 is ridiculously low and you're going to need to buy a lot of ammo to get this weapon now with the springfield it is 200 points plus because you can buy it off the wall in verruckt and you can also get it in the box on nocturne toten as well so again it's a little bit of a differentiation there the difficulty on this weapon to get is going to be at an easy it's pretty down 
easy to get unless you're on Nocturne Totem then I'd put it at a medium because you can only get it from the box the availability onto the Springfield is only available on Nocturne Totem and Verruckt that's the all the two maps that it's available on because the Springfield I guess Treyarch sort of realized how shitty it was and they decided to replace it with uh, the Arisaka and Shinonuma and I believe they just completely took it out in uh, Darice and just put left the car 98k and the gear which was a way better decision than what they did in the first two maps and the damage guys I have to rate this on round three because it's so bad if you guys don't know about this weapon it's never a one shot in the body well, on round one it's two shots so essentially it's worse than using your knife like the Springfield as a gun is worse than your knife. It's ridiculous. So on round three, guys, it's one shot to the head and four shots to the body. It's unbelievably ridiculous. I don't know why it's this bad. It's just this bad. The rate of fire on this weapon is 50 RPM. That's to be expected because it is a bolt action sniper rifle. I guess you could say without the scope. And of course, the sights also with the Springfield are misaligned. When you shoot at the iron sight, it doesn't actually go there. And it's so stupid why they did this. The accuracy is definitely not as bad as the SMR, but the damage that de this weapon deals is literally worse than the knife which is horrible now going on to the pack punch version since this weapon was replaced in Doris and Shinonuma there actually is no pack a punch variant for this weapon there were some game files but I guess you could say that it is very similarly modeled towards the car 98k which is why the pack a punch would be pretty much the same statistics as the Armageddon but I'm not going to include that so I just gave the name not applicable for this uh, pack a punch weapon the pack a punch ammo again is not not applicable the recoil just on the Springfield in itself is at a medium and the damage on round six is three shots to the head and nine shots to the body and you have to keep in mind it takes two full clips to kill one zombie in the body that is ridiculously horrible and going on to the reload speed it actually is a pretty fast reload it's 2.0 seconds just regularly and 1.0 seconds with speed cola which is pretty damn good but the problem is guys the weapon just doesn't do enough damage the the head multiplier is pretty good as well I believe it's 1.5 times which is really good but the recommended perks that you're going to want to get on this weapon is just all the perks and Barak or the original quadrinity which is going to be jug double tap speed cola and quick revive so now guys it is time to announce the winner i believe it's really obvious i believe personally in my opinion it's got to be the smr even though the smr definitely does have the worst accuracy of all the weapons in call of duty zombies it still has way better damage than the springfield and in my personal opinion that's what really counts because it like you cannot really use the springfield past round six it is just useless like it's totally useless with the SMR I was kind of using it at around round 12 with uh, just completely running out of ammo very very fast but it was still sort of usable into the way that I could still progress through the rounds after round 4 with the Springfield it is literally useless you cannot use this weapon and there is no pack a punch variant which essentially makes the weapon a lot worse so anyways guys I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did Please make sure to leave a like, guys. Tell me what you want for the next two weapons on the next episode of Zombie Weapon Comparison. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.